and like the plant kingdom disembarks sensibility, we will have contact today with some messages and with some manifestations of our visionaries, because through the visionaries, through the spiritual part of life, trees can communicate with us, and we have a certain contact with them. Therefore, we will see a little bit Umbu, 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 umbu. Ou umbuzeiro, como se chama no Brasil. We will umbu see a bu, é uma árvore nativa is, da América an, do Sul. This is a native, é uh, native tree from South America. It is animais. edible Ela serve de ração for, para os animais. for the animals. E serve também para fazer alguns also, medicamentos que o reino humano pode and it also usufruir delas. As, as, um, for medicines for the human beings. It is an umbu, U-M-B-O, U-M-B-U. And this umbu expresses itself and has connected with us. And it says that each pain that trees feel, because having sensibility, they feel pain. The plant kingdom does not have a mind, but they do have sensibility. And the umbu, says that pain, the pain that each tree feels, is reflected on all trees. And the pain of the tree is not so much through the suffering of the pain, because as a plant kingdom and part of the vegetable kingdom, its consciousness, it has the consciousness of sacrifice so much through the animal kingdom as by the human kingdom, serving as food for the animal kingdom and for the human kingdom. This is the consciousness of the plant kingdom. But it feels pain not because it must, must donate itself as food, but it feels pain for the lack of love of humanity in the way which it deals with her, in the way it is cut, in the way of collecting the plants. The, the kingdom feels this pain for the lack of love that is not returned to it when it donates itself. So you see, we need much, much to learn with this kingdom in the sense of sensibility and love. And the Umbu also told us, said, that the relationship that the plant kingdom has with the, with the Indians does not feel the same lack of love. It is when it deals with the with the white race, when it deals directly with the indigenous people, it receives another treatment. This is a very, very interesting observation. The plant kingdom has the most capacity to receive the sun from the light. The plants grow towards in direction of the sun and in direction to, 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 the, to, to the heights. And all this represents for us an example of donation and of union with the Most High. Let us see a little bit what the umbu has said to us, which is very characteristic of, this, of the love of this kingdom. And this communication of what the umbu has said was captured by one of the prayers from the Order Grace Mercy and has much connection with the nature kingdom. He is a seer, a visionary from Aurora. And it says, the Umbu said through him, each tree that is, each tree that is cut down, each forest that is destroyed, creates that pain on all the trees on the planet. And what activates the most this pain in our kingdom is not the tree that has been cut down, because our codes of resistance foresees the donation, the donation that we have 
as, as the plant kingdom. What makes us suffer is the lack of love with which we are treated, the lack of love, when all this is done, when all that is done. And the ombu continues revealing to us know that, that in a, in a solitude forest, a vegetable being, a vegetable being will capture everything that it needs, but when when the forest has contact with the human love and the human connection, this vegetable tends to evolve much greater than that which is provided by the evolution. So as it feels pain when it is, when it is treated indifferently and with coldness, it also feels that it evolves most when it is treated with love. And this, and this is the feeling and the expression of a whole forest because they are a, a, a union of, of, of trees. They also in, uh, disinvolve a collective feeling. This is why the plant kingdom has great gratitude for the indigenous people because the indigenous people has another way of treating them. They have more union. They are more united with the vegetable and plant kingdom. And a visionary, a Scottish visionary, Dorothy McLean, known by her, in, by her books internationally, published, she had various contacts with a suppress, a suppress tree in California, cypress, it's a typical tree in California, a cypress, and this cypress revealed the following to her, that they are, ha they are habitants, inhabitants of great spaces, they like to be exposed to the trees, to the wind, to the light, and men, using cypresses to make fences. And when they place cypresses one by the other, this growth, this, this growth limitates the, the natural, the natural in evolvement of these trees. This is what it does not permit the cypress to have to have its its natural unity amongst the other trees they would be able to realize themselves much better as trees and the cypress also channelized through Dorothy McLean that we from they, from the plant word, world, have their destiny, which is, which is, which is traced through time. And they find that it's very wrong that they cannot exist because of the intermission of, of humanity. And regardless of all this, it grows and it tries to be as the most beautiful possible within the limitations that man is imposing on them. And he says that for many cypresses, it is possible to only dream with that space that it would like to have and that to dream, they dream that they are manifesting in all their plenitude. And the cypress continues saying the following, that humanity is each, is, is each time in control of all the florists, florists in the world. For this, the economical reasons the way they are managed without consciousness, 
regarding the needs of the planet, they begin to destroy muito mais áreas deveriam ser deixadas these eles plants mais áreas. they should they should be Porque left um free to cover more areas on the planet the plants are to grow freely we need to know that the forests proporção. and jungles need to have e this space on the planet it says that we 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 present much ignorance as human beings in regards to the trees and to the channelizing of the energy and the strength. They say that we do not know how a tree, as it grows, it becomes a conduct of, of energy from the Most High. So if a cypress or a tree, a tree that grows very, very high, if it, if it is permitted to live, to, 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 if it is permitted to live, it has the consciousness that it brings energy from the heights and it transmits that energy. As it is descending, it expands through its roots, through the flowers, and it descends, penetrating its roots from the heights, it penetrates to the roots, and those roots give the earth a new life. So those very high trees, they capture all this energy and transmit this to the earth, and the earth changes with this. It becomes more fertile. But it also tells us that if we had a better conscience about the work of the trees and the forest, if we would do our part, they could help much more with their consciousness to recuperate the planet when the moment comes for this need, and that we Através das árvores grandiosas. That we have tanto forças para a terra quanto that forças para the o ambiente. Great trees, big trees e have much force and energy to pass to the earth and to humanity. And it says that they believe que o todo poderoso, that the que most high, which is nature, which is the force of energy, will know how to deal with all that como and will know how to lead the destiny of the plant kingdom together, together with the human kingdom. This is another tree, Castaneda, from India, and that this tree channelized the following. Although human beings dominate the earth and have planned and have gardens that are planted, many of these gardens, many of these gardens are very well kept. But this tree says that the gardens are very beautiful and harmonious, but when a garden is, is made, they, we do not think that the plants have a consciousness and that through the kingdoms, the divinity also manifests itself. We have very, very beautiful gardens, but but we need the areas human beings make their gardens as they want, but some, some areas should be left as they are. It doesn't matter that they're dry. Some areas must be dry because there are many plants that need to manifest in arid places. There are other types of plants. And in an, in an arid area where natural plants grow, it has its own harmony. It presents an aspect which man does not understand very well. But the Castaneda from India said that 
where Dorothy McLean treats or once treated these plants, they expect to create a beautiful garden, even if it's planted by man, that these trees are going to collaborate and they will create a beautiful garden. And she calls to our attention about a tree which was published, its film it was published in one of the books. It says that we need to perceive the growth of this tree, which is not common. This happens with some trees which have uh, different growths. And this was so because the people that were dealing with these plants were doing in a very loving way and harmon in total harmony. So when one of these trees was very, very well treated, she was very happy. But then all of a sudden it was transplanted because they wanted to take her to another space. And when she arrived to that other space after she had been transplanted, she, would, she was not as beautiful as she was. She was a little hurt in, in her development and in the development of her, of her beauty. This is all very interesting because it's, it's a kingdom, it's a life, a part of nature with which we are not, we are not too familiar with. We contact nature, we find it beautiful, but when we have an attitude before nature, nature is perceiving this and is feeling and is, it is receiving everything we can do from love, it receives in, in happiness and joy. And here the visionaries continue to act, call to our attention. If we observe the movements of a tree, for example, and we could follow with love this disinvolvement of the tree, that development and that growth of the tree would reflect within us and we would be able to learn much if the growth of that tree, if the movement of that tree were reflected within us. We would have a very different process within, and the visionary said that the result of treating well and of vegetables being able to grow well and to feel their growth within us, we would be more open and more interested in the celestial mysteries. You see the consciousness of these trees, they're very evolved and very intelligent. Now, on the channeling of Freyer Elias, Mary says the following regarding the vegetables or the plants. The vegetables have a magnetism, an intelligent magnetism. This is created by the second ray, which is, is in develop, the development of the vegetable kingdom. And Mary says on the 25th of May, 2013, speaking of the vegetables and of the care that we should have with them, she says, the vegetables suffer the vegetable kingdom feels and suffers when they feel that life is taken from them instead, instead of being. Those are exceptions, she says. But as vegetable kingdom, which is a symbol of donation and beauty, because to donate corresponds to them as a task. Their task is to donate themselves to man and to the animal kingdom. And they could donate much more if men would not eat meat, if men would not eat 
the vegetable kingdom would donate themselves much more and through the evolution of the human being because not eating animal meat and begin to eat the vegetable elements, this man would have other sensibilities. It would be another posture before nature. And Saint Joseph, who also speaks of the trees in his messages, he, Saint Joseph channelized to sister Lucia on the 7th of January, 2016. He said the following, that we could commune with the elevation of the trees and with the constant spirit of donation of the vegetable or plant kingdom, that we could commune considering that donation of the plant kingdom, which in their humility always surrenders the best to God, not without caring how it is treated or if it's not taken care of. According to St. Joseph, the plant kingdom continues to donate itself to God and continues to do everything within God's plan for it, regardless of how it is treated and regardless of not always being well taken care of. And St. Joseph said, says that the plant kingdom knows, knows of its own life, that it is donated to God and to his plan. And St. Joseph says, contemplate this kingdom. So we should contemplate before the plant kingdom because there we will discover through, through that kingdom the emptiness within us. This is, St. Joseph said that if we contemplate the plant kingdom, we will learn to find that emptiness within us. We will learn to empty ourselves of so many egoistic aspects. Well, with all this, the vegetable kingdom carries a cross, which is the cross of being totally devastated. Because that is, as the forests are being devastated, and certain areas of the planet are devastated. This, this is perceived and it is felt by the whole plant kingdom, and amongst themselves they divide this destruction of a forest. Here, we're going to mention a moment of another aspect, a little unconscious of human beings when they begin to bring petroleum from the earth, when, those, when they extract petroleum, that oil from the ocean floor, and when this remains on the, super, on the surface of the ocean, because there are many accidents and that remains on the surface of the ocean, and this does not permit that the light of the sun may penetrate to the bottom of the oil. This is on the surface of the ocean for much time. This does not permit the sunlight to enter to the ocean floors. And if this happens in a very great area, as it happened during the wars, some fish became blind because the vibration of this oil and the lack of sunlight which did not penetrate the, the deepness of the ocean, some fish became blinded. You see how important it is that we know these things because if some of us know these things and can change a little bit, we can change our feelings among that kingdom, with that kingdom things will change a little bit. The vegetables perceive all this, the plants perceive all this, 
They do not have the mental element disinvolved. This, the mind, is, is very new. It is the sign of creation, but it's not in, it disinvolved yet. So they, they do manage to disinvolve the sensibility. We, also, we should also consider that the vegetable or the plant kingdom disinvolving this sensibility at some point we, we have an option we have an option to make in our feeding in the, in the theosophic gloss, glossary, glossary Elena Blavatsky says o regime vegetariano the vegetarian region is much more appropriate for the nature of man than that of the carnivorous regime. It is more pure, more nu nutritious, and more fortifi fortifying. And this is not what is normally said. But as you see, since it comes from Blavatsky and Theophysi, it's good that we know this, because this is a revelation within the normal science of the Earth, of the planet. And Blavatsky says that thanks to the vegetarian food, if it were well endorsed, and if this were a habit, a, a, a feeding habit, we could avoid many illnesses which are stimulated when you are not a vegetarian, when you eat meats. And as meat eaters, we have much more possibilities of having rheumatism, and we could have more rheumatism. And we could also have cancer much easily. The vegetarian. Does not develop cancer as much as a meat eater. And Blavatsky says that all the animal tissues from the animal meat conserve certain characteristics of the animal being. The meat re uh, contains those characteristics, the blood. So then, it is advised that if we would use another type of food with a, a less heavy influence, our brain and our body would have a different disinvolvement. And the vegetarian line of food helps stimulates intuition and it helps the brain not to remain so heavy and so concrete. And this a meat eater will have a, a slower dis mental disinvolvement and much less intuitive in general than from a vegetarian. And Blavatsky also advises us that meat as food incites to drinking and also incites to the carnal attraction, sexual carnal attraction. Therefore, it is important that we know all these things because when you work your evolution, a different evolution, when you seek other levels of consciousness, we need to know these things. And meat is also an element that for our psychic condition is very less subtle if we eat and if we drink certain alcoholic beverages which meat stimulates. 
In the esoteric glossary by Trigueirinho is also spoken or mentioned about the vegetable the plant kingdom, and also they speak of the plants, of the vegetarianism. And the glossary says that the kingdom that has been able to fulfill the purpose of its, of its existence on the planet has been the vegetable kingdom. The evolution plan has a path for each kingdom, for the mineral kingdom, for the vegetable kingdom, for the animal kingdom, for the human kingdom, so on and so forth. But the kingdom that has been able to fulfill the purpose of its existence on earth in a perfect way has been the plant kingdom, because the plant kingdom finds to feed the animal kingdom. It also feeds the human kingdom. And it would do better if, if we didn't eat meat. And it also fulfilled its task, regardless of the way it has been treated, regardless of not being considered the way it should be considered. We are before the vegetable kingdom, and since we do not contemplate, we may not be able to perceive how perfect the flowers are. If we observe certain flowers, we would see the harmony that exists there, the beauty of a flower, of a flower that has not been that has, has not been destroyed or by its treatment, if we would be able to contemplate a flower which is in its natural state, we would see that this flower that this flower can reach a greater plenitude, greater growth, more beauty, more natural beauty. And the esoteric glossary also says that the vegetable kingdom and the flowers are not able to reach greater plenitude, to have more beauty, more harmony. It only reaches a certain point, and it does not go beyond that point due to the density, psychic density of the planet. And that psychic density of the planet produced by various facts, principally by man, by the airplanes that have been created, all the pollution, the emanation of machines. The psychic atmosphere of the planet is much more denser than that, than the way it should be, and this denseness inhibits the total expression of the vegetable kingdom. This we need to know. Well, now let's speak a little bit about the future, because the present is a little sad. So let us speak a little bit about the future, because it seems that it is... It is it is foreseen to have a transition, a planetary transition, and after this movement of the planet, and after certain purification, where many facts will enter into the game. But after this purification, when there has been a recuperation or a rebirth of all, this, all these things, when this happens, a subtle class of divas of the Devic kingdom will appear collect, connected to the planet Venus, and then there will be a reconstruction of all this. 
an amplification of this life on the planet. Esta, and esta we need purification da terra, não? Fosse a menos violenta possível, we need to try natural, that this planetary transition mais, can be pelo homem, não? the least least painful a, as possible. And after all this, we will have all the reconstruction with divas that come from more evolved planets and much more subtle. This will all influence on certain vegetable forms which will appear on the planet and which will be of a greater beauty, much more than that which we contemplate and see today. But then there will also be in that future, in that new part of the planet, there will be a greater communication with humanity and the plant kingdom. Because with the presence a more perfect presence of the Devic kingdom will help in this connection. And in this way, the human soul will be able to communicate better with the plant vegetable. And in the new earth, done made by the new humanity, there will, there will be other activities, agricultural activities, not as we have today where we have the vegetable kingdom planted and collected for our food. But on the new earth, with the new hum humanity, what is in plan is that it will be a, a different agricultural movement because the utili utilitary part which has influenced much this humanity, will be more loving. There will be more collaboration with this kingdom. Therefore, the human nature will collaborate to help the vegetable kingdom, not only to receive from it, but it will be held, we will collaborate with this kingdom. And when this happens, when humanity works with the plant kingdom in another way, this kingdom evolves in a different way. There will exist the possibility of the vegetable kingdom being able to manifest karmically it will be able to manifest much more healing plants. The healing plants will be known and they will be given another importance for us as humanity. Also, not eating meat, we will be healthier and these creative plants, healing plants, will be able to take care of our health in a better way, avoiding many illnesses and sicknesses. Well, beyond that, it is foreseen, it is foreseen that chegarão novas espécies new species de outros sistemas of other systems from this same galaxy will come and from other galaxies. So the new Earth will not only be a question of co human consciousness, it will not only be a new consciousness of spirituality, it will also be another version of the mineral vegetable kingdoms and consequently of the animal and human kingdom. We would need to consider for all this not only our life on the physical plane. The life on the physical plane is the more immediate one for us. But if we become more subtle, if our organism is subtle, if our vision 
então, is aí, interiorized. Muda a then the vibration no, of the kingdoms no, is disinvolved. Vai um outro This de will bring us another system sutil, of thought, more subtle. Seja o mesmo. Even if the mechanism is the same, é tudo this is, que se prevê this is what is foreseen terra, for the new earth não? on the level of those kingdoms, vegetal, especially the vegetable kingdom, isso, which scientists already perceive this, and sintomas. it is demonstrated by some no, symptoms. <coughs> No ciclo vindouro do planeta, In the coming cycle of the planet and the new humanity, vegetal, the vegetable kingdom, be vai beyond the sensibility, um it will also begin to have a little energy hoje. of will. This is, this is not então, thinkable exemplo, today. But for example, a plant will grow not only with the elements that it has today, with the natural elements, it will grow also because it will have the will, the will in the way of the vegetable kingdom and of the plant kingdom. We do not know this, but when these plants can have a relationship with the energy of will, they will have much more power to be able to solve many things. So this relationship with man and plants and also with the animals, as we will see in another lecture, this will be very different. Uma coisa que o reino vegetal One thing já that the vegetable kingdom already produces and shows que ele, no que ele é capaz de in what it, how, it is, nós, que não é físico, how it is able é to influence o incenso is the que incense, nós queimamos, this incense that we burn. Já produz um it produces an effect from the nós, vegetable kingdom in us. Já muda the nossa incense vibração, changes our vibration, it moves, it changes our state, it makes us calm. And if we had a more profound relationship with this, we begin to feel the influence, very subtle influence of the vegetable kingdom within ourselves if we observe what happens with our etherical bodies, what occurs with our with our feelings when we use incense, because incense has the magnetism and it has, it is very harmonious to the fourth ray and with the sixth ray, because incense, this smoke, expands and it also seeks light, like other plants in common, common as other elements of the vegetable kingdom. Now, to finish, we would like to touch the item of the seeds because, because material science is creating transgenic food. And these, these are modified, modified uh, genetically modified food, and this brings much risk for the vegetable kingdom because the plants that the vegetable kingdom could have to reveal with this process of creating transgenic, there is a great confusion by the tendencies of each plant. There is a confusion when it is produced, when this product is produced, everything mixes, and this progress, this inner progress of the vegetable is annulled through these products. And this brings great risks for the agriculture, because the earth itself, with those products, all this disorders a little bit. It comes out of the natural order, and we still do not have the notion of the results that this may give. This is all very mysterious, because its results 
are still not visible, allergias, except há muita through allergies, because there are many allergies that are appearing. Humanity is presenting, presenting many allergies, and this will be more accentuated because of how these products are being, are being stimulated and are being used. And also, these transgenic, beyond bringing al allergies and disorder in the mixture of, of these life beings, these products create a resistance to all that which is antibiotic. So when you use an antibiotic, which is not recommendable, but it's needed sometimes for some illnesses, this will not be able to do it, its work. It will be frustrated when it is working with trans, when it is mixed with the transgenic products. Therefore, these toxic, toxic products is greater. And any type of residue, toxic re residue, will contribute to this. In the first place, we need to select, we need to select from our consciousness this idea of transgenics, and we need to take care of the, we need to watch for the seeds. There are beings, human beings, agricultures, who are cultivating natural seeds, natural seeds following the natural archetype of the seeds. And when we cultivate vegetables, natural vegetables, and it is possible because you can still find natural seeds, there will be beings that will dedicate themselves to this type of agriculture. We need to propose this, this multiplication of natural, natural seeds, and we need to rescue some of the species of these seeds. This seems like a dream, but it's not a dream. There are places that take care of these things. What is needed is that these creatures that are promoting this work may unite, they may get together, and they may add up, and in this way there will be the possibility of so that these things could not disappear totally. It's not destined that it should disappear. It is destined that it will remain. Natural seeds is destined to remain the essence of all that which must not disappear on the planet. This is a mystery of how it will be how it will be preserved, but as beings appear which are interested in dealing with this, the donated beings to keep this natural, natural seed, then there will begin, we will begin to have a divic, the divic kingdom will also be, begin to enter and help and all the phases of purification, the most violent planetary purification, many of these things will be able to go through this phase and continue in the future, which will be radiated by the solar system and the plantas, vegetal, and as the vegetable é kingdom is, se is the one that approaches, that connects sol, more to this é energy of sun energy, it is possible for the plant kingdom to be able to save its archetype and that will later absor absorb even from the invisible world that will come 
and create a very luminous plant kingdom superior to the one that exists today. The activities of seeding and of using the genuine natural products, this, this helps that in the deepest part of the human being may burst a desire and need to be with nature. And these that awaken to these things, it's important that they take care of this. Because to plant and to be able to return home, or when he leaves, lives this plane or disincarnates, he will part, leaving the land ready so that whoever comes behind him can find everything planted and ready. And in this way, this is passed on from one soul to another so that everything can be a, a, a continuated continuity. And he speaks as if it were in these times, but he also speaks in some because whatever you do, remembering the divine in what you do, this will have another quality, and things will not be repeated as they are repeated normally. And she also said that so much darkness that has fallen over the earth that maybe only the supramental energy will be able to help. It. So this is this is the situation in which the planet finds itself today. This will be dissolved with the presence of the supramental manifestation. Supramental manifestation is all that which comes from a superior mind. Today we call this supramental mental, but the superior mind, after the purification of the planet, will begin to descend, and this is called the supramental manifestation, that superior mind will descend, this condition will descend, and everything will be modified. And she says the following. She says that at each moment, every moment, the the universe is recreated. Can you see? We do not have an idea what the universe is. We know that it exists. We know that life is universal. But that's all. We do not know any anymore. And the mother, which was a great visionary, she said that each minute, and she even uses the term minute in our calendar time, that each minute the universe is recreated. So as we are here totally slow with our limitations, human material limitations, each minute the universe is recreated. And we do not need to remain behind with this. We need to Opt to enter into this rhythm. This is an option for each one, and this is what we try to stimulate. And at each minute, the universe is recreated in its totality and in each one of its, of its parts. And we are all a part of the universal life. So when a visionary that the great of the mother says that at each moment the universe is recreated in its totality and in each one of its parts we know that here we are in a great movement. We are part of this great movement. Forgive me if today I have been I have gone beyond what I needed to or what I should have. But I think that this impulse was very necessary because 
Next month, we will speak of the animal kingdom, and we will need to be with a different impulse to be able to take care of that kingdom, because the animal kingdom it has been very, very va badly treated, more than the vegetable kingdom. And we will enter with another, another state of, of spirit so that it does not become sad, but that we may have much impulse to accompany this universe, which at each moment renews itself. So let us renew ourselves if, do, if God wills. Thank you. And until the next lecture.